So now is our wonderful school community council meeting number two, which is going to be led by our own uh, chairperson, Lucy Ramirez, who is a student at the school, and she's worked very hard, and I've just watched her develop over the last couple of years um, into a very strong leader at our school. So I'm just really proud of her. So can you welcome her with a hand? Thank you so much, Ms. Welsh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so, yes, I'm Lucia Marys. I'm a junior at Hilo High School. Um, so, this is our second community meeting for the year. So, um, as a SEC, so School Community Council, we're required to have two community meetings. So, one in the beginning, and how we do it is we gather information. So, this one we separated into students and adults. And we kind of came, um, we made a list of like um, some issues and concerns that students had. So we separated into four committees. But before I talk about that, we're going to talk about what SEC does. So we meet um, basically every first Monday of the month um, with our council. So the council consists of admin, so two of each. So two admin, two teachers, two community members, two parents, and two students. So I'm going to introduce them right now. So we have a teacher, so Ms. Charlene Masuhara. Okay, and, oh, and Ms. Hashimoto, she's also a teacher. And then we have Kara Yoshiyama as a student, and myself. Then we have two parents, Mr. Warmbier. Warm, warm, warm. Yeah. Warm, warm. Woo, and then, um, I to pay all of them. And then, <laughs> then Mrs. Kawachi as a community. Woo! And Mr. Jerks as our admin. Woo! And the back is Ms. Erin, who is my alternate in Washington. And Mr. Espicio is in the back. So basically what we do is, so at these meetings we discuss safety and academic concerns. Um, so just anything within the school. So right now for this last semester basically we've been discussing what the committees are doing and kind of making them come together. So I'm going to have the committees talk. Yes. So they, these are the four committees. So there's health and safety, available services, academic and career offerings. So I'm going to have speakers from each committee come up and share a little bit about what they have done. Yes, but before that, I'm going to start the meeting because this is a community meeting. So as you can see in your blue paper, there's a bit of an agenda. And in the yellow paper, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. So I call this meeting to order at 6.01 p.m. And then can we all look over this yellow sheet of paper? And I'm going to ask for an approval of the minute. So this is what happened at the last meeting. Okay. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Move to approve the minutes. Thank you. Is there a second? Thank you. Okay, so now, is there any public comments? Yes, Ms. Wilson. Um, one of the things that um, we wanted to do and um, one of the things that um, I guess we wanted to include in um, what SCC is doing is uh, and so the public comment because when just so that you know the rules, you have to bring up in public comments before it can get on the agenda for the next meeting. So what we're talking about is we'd like to have a, a review of the courses that we offer, the catalog that we have, and maybe the registration process so we understand as parents and as teachers what are the expectations, what are the needs and meet the needs of our students. And so at the next um, meeting we propose, we would like to put that on the agenda, please. Thank you so much. Is there any more public comments? No? Okay, moving on to correspondence. Is there a correspondence? No correspondence. Thank you. And principal's reports. Briefly, as you know, we're in the fourth quarter of school year, uh, we just went through a very long period of assessments, testing the students to see where they're at in terms of the entire school year. And 
now it's kind of kind of let the hair down a little bit. So we have a number of activities the students are involved in. One of it is our um, May Day is coming up very soon. Um, I believe May Day is going to be on May uh, right here fourth. It's a Friday, and the students are practicing this OEVA concept. It's uh, I know some of the students are going yeah. It's it's a song where it's all the same words, but it's different variations depending on the class. And that's for us the spirit of competition. And that'll be presented the morning, uh, the uh, I guess you could say the day of the May Day, and then that no, evening it's on, on it'll Monday. be Monday. 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 I'm sorry, Monday. 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 And then on Friday uh, we have our final uh, for the students May Day, and then in the evening will be for parents. And yes, and it's going to be a lot of uh, entertainment, a lot of excitement. So please consider coming on the fourth. May for the adult um, evening of May Day. We also have coming up our senior awards, which is coming up May 10th. We have a lot of seniors that are getting acknowledged for their four years here at Hilo High School, and they'll be also sharing what colleges they'll be going to or what uh, things they're in store for them for the remainder of their, I uh, would we'll say, for the next few years of their lives before they move on to adulthood. And then, of course, what we have coming up is athletic awards on the 14th. Over 50% of the students at our school are athletes. So you can imagine there's going to be a lot of recognition uh, for different kinds of sports, all the way from air riflery to, of course, things like baseball, basketball, and things. So that's coming up. And finally, May 18th. Do we have any seniors in the house? They're getting ready for graduation. That's why they're not here today. But we have made it, uh, excuse me, what that's coming, but we have graduation. And so that will be great at Edith Canuck Holy Stadium. Uh, and the seniors are currently practicing and preparing for that night. So that's my report. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so now moving on to old business, I'm going to have the committees come up and speak. So first is going to be, so there's health and safety. So basically what they've done, is survey the bathrooms weekly to monitor the cleanliness. So, Auntie Kelly is going to come speak about that. So, some of the improvements we've seen is the supplies have been consistently in the bathrooms. Examples are paper towels, toilet paper, and soap being well stocked, as that was a big issue earlier in the year. The bathrooms in B building has not had any flooded floors, the bathrooms smell better. Um, things that can be further improved throughout this year and next year are the graffiti, remove the unused toilet paper dispensers, changing some of the locks that are being locked with paper clips, um, and removal of unused locks that are broken. And um, the kids are monitoring weekly, so we get a report every day. Okay, moving on to available services with Stephen Paddock. So basically, they're just trying to create new services that are available. So right now, we're currently compiling a list of available services available to students. And next year, we're going to start updating info in the student handbook, which is given out to students at the beginning of the year, and also in the student planner. Ms. Masahara is right here. Actually, it's the parent handbook, so I hope when you get it, you will read it. Um, one of the things that um, you probably don't know is because I don't know if you've ever looked at your student's planner, but the student's planner in the first few pages is a wealth of information. And because of what the students did, we have updated and changed some of the information to make sure that it meets, uh, better meets the needs and the questions that they have. This year, if you look at the booklet, there's just a small list of names and numbers that you can call if you have some questions. What we did, and we already, uh, by the way, we already did the new book for next year, but we've all improved that list. And so the thing is, there are um, a number of students who have said that they don't know who to call, but the parents have said, 
Um, I think my daughter might be contemplating suicide. What do I do? Who do I call? And so we've had those kinds of questions, and so we wanted to make sure that we had information available to everybody. And so, as Stephen said, we are trying to recreate some of the things that are in the parent handbook in much more detail because it's a bigger piece. And in the student um, planner, there is some information for the students to access. Um, uh, the other question that the students and the parents had was, what other kinds of services besides mental health or behavior, academic, um, uh, and especially academic. But so what we did was we included in there some information about different things for the students. So um, you will be able to see, and maybe all of your children will want to be part of the dual college, early college, dual, no, dual credit early college program um, with, that we have with HCC. And it's probably a real benefit for all students because if you take a course with them, you not only get high school credit, but you get college credit. So there are some people currently who are seniors who are going to graduate with 12 college credits already. So that's one semester. So that's pretty good. And so those are the kinds of things. Um, and the reason we really um, embrace the dual college is because when we checked um, all the research, we found that students who take six, well, two or more college prep classes, which is six credits, are more apt to go to college and to complete in four years, almost 90%. So that's what we challenge a child to do. So there's a wealth of information. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen and Ms. Masuhara. So now we're going to move on to the academic committee with the student, Karago Shiyama. Um, so they've been meeting. Hello. So um, the academic committee right now, we are focusing on improving and establishing kind of like a um, syllabi. Is that's what students get at the beginning of the year from each of their teachers in their classes um, to create like a syllabi that is similar and have similar um, aspects of it and create something that's the same throughout the whole school and to also ensure that the teachers follow that syllabi throughout the whole year so right now we collected various syllabi from different teachers different classes and different grade levels and we've been analyzing it and trying to figure out um, what we like about the syllabi and what we don't like and um, tr trying to establish um, one syllabi that all teachers can use for the upcoming school years. Thank you. Okay, moving on to career offerings with Ms. Masuhara. Okay, this is, this is a very important aspect of what we, as at all high schools in the state of Hawaii, need to continue to do because as you probably know, Superintendent Kishimoto has said that we must all remember to have our students college, career, and community ready. So to do that, we need to make sure that they even understand what a career is because if they understand a career and what a career choice they might want to make, then maybe they'll have a better idea, oh yes, I have to go to a four-year college, or I need to do this or that. And um, uh, I think that for many of our students, they don't find out until their senior year that, oh my God, I have to make a plan. And the plan is that I'm going to college, but I don't know where, where do I get the money, what do I do? And so what we looked at for um, creating um, college and community programs, the committee made two kinds of goals, short-term goals. Short-term goals was we wanted to um, make sure that all of our students had an opportunity to do different kinds of career research from a career shadowing, which might be a one-day or two-day visit to a site, to an internship, which would mean 60 hours of working, not really working, but working with um, an auto mechanic or a dentist or an eye doctor or whatever it is and they would get credit for it because there would be um, a, a, 
requirements that they would have to follow, including doing their own evaluation of what they learned, things like that. And so those that those are our short-term kinds of goals. And we to we've been doing this for some time, and I see some faces of parents because I know I've worked with them already that their students have been able to do this. But we only did it in a very small scale, unfortunately. And so we average maybe 25, maybe 35 students a year. We'd like to up that number to 100 or 200 because we think that it's really important for students to have that um, visit to a site so that they know what work is. Unfortunately, students don't quite get that people actually work for eight hours. When we sent one boy to a construction site, he came back, he says, I don't think I can do that job. It's really hard work. And I said, all work is hard. And yes, you have to be prepared to stay all day and work all day. And so I think this is the learning experience we want to teach them. Just the work skills and the work ethic. So that's the short-term goal. But our long-term goal is that we felt that we needed to develop a real good plan here at Hilo High. And so that's why in my public comments I said that I'd like to have a meeting to discuss um, because um, the committee came up with a plan and because the committee did that, we didn't really get enough input from students, parents, and other teachers. It was a committee of six people who came up with this really, really cool idea about what we should do, but then we realized that's not how it should be done. And so we're going to present some of our ideas, but we want you to be able to come again and, and share with us some of your thoughts, um, maybe your children, and I think the students are the ones we're really looking at because we want them to come and talk about it. Because our um, vision had been that the students um, will uh, take a career pathway course. A career pathway course, and there are six career pathways right now, and we feel that um, if a student does that, they will have a better understanding. For example, if your child says, I'm interested in a health career, but they're not sure. But you know there are thousands of jobs in the health field. You can go from a nine-week phlebotomist to a nine-year doctor kind of a career, right? So there's a, all of this, and we wanted to be able to share that um, with all the students. So that is our plan, to make it um, mandatory for all ninth graders, I mean, 10th graders to take a career pathway. But we realized that to do that, that they might have to give up an elective. So we looked at the whole student schedule from ninth grade to 12th grade, and we came up with a plan. But like I said, it was six teachers, students, and, uh, geez, I don't even remember if there was a parent there. I don't think so. I think it was just teachers and students. And so we realized we didn't do our job correctly. So we are going to, in a sense, redo that so that we can do it correctly and make sure that everybody's uh, opinions um, are heard and um, that we uh, meet the needs of not only the students but the parents because the parents are the ones who actually are going to have to uh, pay for college if that's the goal. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. So that was um, the four committees that we've been working on for the past year. Um, so they, as you can see, they've, they've been getting a lot of stuff done, but we're still going to be working to the next year because um, some of the committees have to work over the summer. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for the committees, and there's no new business. So now I'm going to move on to announcements and adjournment. Okay. So, if you'd like what you heard from SEC, please contact us um, or contact me. I have my contact information on the bottom because um, we're always looking for new council members. So, remember, we're always trying to improve this school. You'll be a part of important decisions. Um, and yeah, thank you. Wait, oh, yes. Can I make an announcement? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, we have not submitted um, the programs that we're going to do for this summer, but there are some really interesting things that your child might want to be a part of. For example, if your child wants to work on their PTP, we're going to do an advanced guidance class that not only helps them with their PTP, and for those of you who are senior parents, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> because some of the kids still have yet to finish that. Also, I, I need to do... Um, I mean, we also want to do some college search and some scholarships so that all of our students' needs are met. 
We're also going to offer some um, um, other kinds of classes, especially for incoming ninth graders, um, to help them transition better to high school. And um, so if you are interested in a program maybe for your child, if you will let us know or email us, we will certainly email you all of the information and the enrollment form. Thank you. Okay, so now my agenda is meeting at 6.18, but we have one more speaker, so don't go anywhere. Thank you so much, Lucy. That was a great meeting, very informative.